The cover of the current People magazine has everyone talking about Heidi Montag, who became famous, maybe infamous, on MTV's reality show, The Hills. In People magazine, she boasts about her 10 plastic surgeries in a single day. She is revealing her new look first here on GMA, talking to Juju Chang about a wide range of topics, including why she did it. Hi. Hi. Nice to Hers meet you. is a perfectly chiseled Hi. face and body. Heidi Montag comes across as charming, sweet, even smart. Odd for someone often referred to as a Hollywood train wreck. A view of the hills. A view of the hills, That's yes fantastic. it is. She's the Heidi half of Spidey. And I'm Mrs. Spencer Pratt. Wife of Spencer Pratt. Do you just not think about anyone but yourself? They're reality stars from MTV's The Hills. Their life has become a self-made fame parade on TV. Why don't you mind your own business? Because this is my business and that's my sister. Magazines online. But last year, it caused a lot of eyes to roll, both on TV. You're going to have to take responsibility. You and off. She's been hiding since November when she had major plastic surgery, which she now reveals for the first time. Look at her before the surgery. Now, after. She had 10 different procedures over 10 hours, nips, tucks, reductions, and augmentations. So you're telling me that a triple D isn't enough? Well, this, see, it doesn't look very big, you know. Heidi says childhood teasing is what brought her under the surgeon's knife again. A lot of people are saying, well, she's an addict. She's addicted to film. <laughs> she's addicted to plastic surgery. How do you respond? I would say that none of those people know me at all, and that's just a judgment. I'm not addicted. If I were addicted, I would have had 10 plastic surgeries and look you like... You did have 10 plastic well, surgeries. Well, I mean 10 times. I really had two different surgeries. I had one three years ago, and then I had one that I had several procedures done um, weeks ago. If you're addicted to something, you have to do it all the time, not once every couple of years, if even. But she's only 23. Her surgeon, Frank Ryan, says many young people get cosmetic surgery and it's elective surgery, a choice that happens often in Hollywood. And where do you draw the line? I mean, because a lot of people are saying, Heidi was so beautiful before the surgery. Why give a beautiful 23-year-old girl that much plastic surgery? Well, I, again, I disagree that it's that much plastic surgery. Many of these are little tweaks and little things that we did. These are all kind of small things. Some hospitals recommend that elective surgeries be less than six hours because of complications. Hers took at least 10 hours and 10 procedures in one day. Is that safe? Did you have to do 10 all at once? If it's safe to do it together, which it is, and a young, healthy 23-year-old, we opted to do it together. Other plastic surgeons say they wouldn't do that. You're pushing the envelope there definitively from a medical point of view where you're going to set up complications. And that's irresponsible from, from a medical point of view. And, and what about from an ethical point of view? My ethics would say that you don't put your patient at that risk. Heidi is very pleased with her surgery's results. As for the general public and TV viewers, well, harsh is an understatement. Getting 10 plastic surgeries when you're 23 and you're already fairly attractive is absurd. I think she looks fake. She looks like she should be on The Real Housewives of Orange County as opposed to The Hills. A lot of these fans of The Hills who I was talking to said, but she had more personality in her face because she had s sort of a distinctive look and now she looks like every other, you know, Barbie. They said Barbie. Sorry, <laughs> I almost stopped myself from saying no, it. No, I hope I get my own Barbie one day. But you would rather look like Barbie than Heidi? No, I think that I do look like myself. I think I just look like a different, improved version of myself. You are very much an idol to young girls. You are on the cover of a magazine. You are a big name in Hollywood. And these young girls are reading what you say about Triple D isn't big enough, that I wasn't pretty enough. What kind of message does that send to young girls? Well, my main message is that beauty is really within. And but that may be your message, but that's not the message you're sending with all of this. But I'm also in a different industry than they are. You know, I'm in a limelight, I'm in a different industry, and I have to do things that are going to make me happy at the end of the day. And, and I'm living in my skin, and I look in the mirror, and it's, it's my career and my life, and you only have one. So I want to take advantage of everything and be the best me in and out every way. 
So why talk now? Her face is still a little swollen, still recovering, less than two months after 10 cosmetic procedures. If you can believe it, she says to kickstart her new career as a pop star. Please tell me you didn't get plastic surgery to promote the album. Oh no, that's all God's timing. Can you sing something for us? Uh, no, that's on the album. You gotta get that featured. You don't have to sing something off the album. Can you sing a little something, something? Um, I'd rather not. I just got a lot of surgery, so my jaw and everything is still very delicate. Juju tried to, to get her to sing, but she Juju, wouldn't do it. She yeah. asked all the tough questions. I, I just think it's sad. I'm sorry. I, I watch that. I see a confused girl who doesn't know what she wants, what she is, and it's just, it's hard to watch. 23 years old. 23 years old. It is hard to believe that she... Because when you do that, when you start at that age, where what, do you go? Where, where do you go? Right. At age 30, then what do you look like? It's just, you know, I don't even know where you begin the conversation because this all came from, to me, the beauty industry, the TV industry, and everyone mm -hmm. telling you, you need to be more attractive and you get more attention. And that's what she's and heard, yeah. clearly. Yeah. Clearly. But, but at 23? At 23? It's frightening. Well, you know, what's the title of her uh, superficial? That's mm. the title of her new CD. Okay. No irony. No, 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 not at all. You can see more Juju's interview with Heidi Montag later this week on Nightline. We would love to know what you think about this story. I can, I can, I can it's blowing up right now with the, the, the shout out board. Go to abcnews.com, pro and con, click on GMA to share your views on that story.